guys, Mr. Science Pet, and welcome back to Let's Be More Cave Story. Now, in the beginning of this video, I'd actually like to thank a person before I forget, because I feel like I should, because I kind of didn't acknowledge them when I was doing this, but I'd like to thank a man by the name of KTSJR15. Uh, he's one of my friends via, that I actually met through Skype, not through Let's Playing, by uh, Devonian Post 3 but um, he's a pretty cool guy, and he uh, helped me out with my um, editing, because I had a problem with playing with Sony Vegas, and uh, he... Help me, uh, figure out a way to do what I was trying to do, which was record and be able to render it without having to do too much problems. And he suggested I use something else. He said Camtasia Studios. And I thought, I used it before, but I never really thought of it would be that good as an editor. I thought it was more of a recording device than an editor. So, I completely ignored it, so I got, so, he convinced me, and I got a copy of Camtasia Trial, and, um, well, uh, let's put it here, I'm using this to edit this video right here, so, be happy, <laughs> I mean, it's not like anybody actually watches these videos, I mean, seriously, like, I have, like, three people who watch, honestly, well, I wanna go get that, uh, heart capsule or whatever you kind of call it. Life capsule. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. And we got a life capsule. Nice Metroid sounding tone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, freaking hell. Yep, this is the ultimate ultimate power that I've been using recently to not die. <laughs> oh, God! Freaking... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of... I'm not sure how well that's going to even come up. <laughs> Honestly, in editing, I have no idea how it's going to come up. <laughs> because this is, um, amazing to say the least. Okay. Hey, there we go. You're dead too. Okay. Now that we aren't dying. I think I have full HP now. By the way, there's this. You can save your game up here. I'm going to use that, because we have a boss fight coming up, and, uh, let's just say this boss fight isn't the oh-so-kind boss fight. The reason I'm staying up here is because I don't want to have to deal with these guys. I'll just snipe them from here. Done, and done. Oop. There we go. There we go. And we get a heart capsule there. Or a heart regeneration or whatever you want to call it. And we get missiles refilled. And hearts, health and missiles refilled. And over there is a croc. So I suggest you ignore the croc. And those guys drop and kill you. Then I think actually up higher up there are hearts but I don't know. Now time for one of the hardest boss battles in the game. Everything's at level three, let's do this. I see Balrog failed at his duties. In his duties. Hmm. You look you look like quite a fighter. But this ju this like juvenile I don't know what that word is. You're but this ju lecture, you're provoking yourself, catching a rather nuisance. Shall we settle this? No, there is no need for me to get involved. We got the, this fag right here. I don't even know his name. I don't even remember his name. I want to call it the Tank Walker or something like that. But um, let's put it here. This boss is not the kindest of bosses compared to everything else because he could do this. And uh, basically, so I'm going to just spend the rest of this match from here firing missiles at his face. And die. Yeah, see, this is my problem with this boss because this boss is... Oh, God, you do not know how much I hate this boss. But I will... I will do this boss in one episode. This will probably be the one, uh, the one episode where I you will see the most fails and the most rage out of me. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut my, like, fails or to, like, cut to, like, quick breaks of showing my stupidity or failure. But I know I will show the full run of the boss battle if I do die. Trust me. I will show my rage. Just trust me. People find my rage funny. Like, I find Sonic 6-7 rage is funny. And there we go. 
And by the way, those things on the bottom actually do recharge. Let's see, do I have max missiles? Yes, I do. Um, yeah, let's start with the missile. Slaughter Kayla's duties. Hi, Misery! You want to talk to me again? And we're not going to settle this because we're going to fight the boss now! See, look, look how much damage this thing does at maximum. Oh, God. Oh, is he regenerating HP? What the hell? Oh, God. Only one fail? Hopefully this only ends in one fail. One fail attempt? One fail? Yes, one fail! I don't- I hate this boss so much. And that screen went really freaking bright. And I defeated Omega Wep- Oh my god, it was Omega Weapon! I defeated it earlier than Final Fantasy V! The spell and the sunstone have been lifted. Now, if you're curious what that means, you know that little area that we walked by that I keep firing at and I actually don't really- wasn't even paying attention when I was? Yeah, that's the stone, stunt stone. Holy crap. Hi, how are you? The fuck? What the hell, man? Okay. And you're gonna break apart, I guess. Yep, you're gonna break apart. Alright. Alright, I really don't like this gun at the beginning because, well, you can see it takes a little while for this thing to recharge only problem with this gun, honestly. I mean, it's a good gun. It just takes forever to recharge, and you, when you really need it, it... But I'm gonna keep this boss in one part. I'm gonna actually get to the next point in the game that, um, will have actual importance to our main hero quote, so to say. So, I will completely ignore all these guys. <laughs> Stay above. Now, remember these paw print things? You could go through the walls if they're paw print things. Remember that. You're gonna wanna know that for later. The real reason I did it is so I can avoid those spikes easier because I really don't like the spikes, but let's go over here. Did you like respawn? No, these things didn't respawn. No, the Polestar things did, but But not that. But um well, what else should I talk about? I guess I could talk about what I wanna do. And that is um I'm thinking, somebody, uh, jokingly told me to do this, but I might actually, like, legitimately do it, but someone suggested I do a, um, what do you call it? a review of Final Fantasy, uh, Decidio 12 Duodecim, but, um, I beat, this is gonna be, like, I'm playing through the game right now just to get my memory back on the game, uh, this is my second test, yeah, this is my second run of the game, and honestly, if I was to do an LP of it, I would be very biased with my character choice. <laughs> Trust me, I'll be very, I'll be honest, I'm very biased with my character choice. Like, let's put it here, my end party, I, oh, fucking hell, game! Game. I guess I'll do it, oh, I'm almost done anyway, so I might as well just... Why do I keep thinking, like, quotes from Psycho Mantis all of a sudden? I, it's really weird, I'm like, I'm like, Thinking about like the whole there's need needs for words, snake, and then you're gonna make my controller vibrate. But uh, you can't do that because, well, this episode's not even reached ten minutes yet, really. But this is the area that we're talking about where the sunstones were. So we need to go down because we still have this puppy. Remember that we still have this puppy. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. They give a ton of experience. The only problem is they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will do that. Actually, I'm gonna go over to the house and, um, heal up, because I'm, you can see I'm not doing so hot. Uh, I mean, I'm not, like, the, I will be honest, I'm not the best cave story player compared to a lot of other people I know. Like, I've seen people beat the second of final boss without getting hit, and... I've tried that, but it's hard for me. I've seen people beat the final boss without getting hit, and that's... You deserve some freaking props for that. But I'm saving because I don't feel like doing that boss over again, because I really hate fighting Omega. But, uh, I'm surprised that I actually have not 
hit 10 minutes. I mean, right now I've hit 10 minutes, but beforehand I had not hit 10 minutes. I beat the boss in under 10 minutes. Huh. I guess I would do that if I was actually a Cave Story old peer back in Deceased Crab days. Thank you for the missile pack. I don't really care for it. I would prefer to have that. Thank you for leveling up my gun. Now we finish you off. And... There we go. Now all guns is happy. I forget what's over here. Let's see. A bunch of health and a bunch of ammo. I could have used this earlier. Remember that, that there's a dog over there. Remember that there's a dog right over there. I'm going to tell you guys to remember a lot this episode. This way to the stand storehouse. But I don't want to go there yet. I want to go over here. To this little abode right here. Jenka's house! The house that we were supposed to go to. To deliver this dog. And oh, let's see my game froze. Oh my, my precious puppy. And you gave her the puppy. You brought him back, I take it. Many thanks. What's that? Red flowers? Who's Huzza? Oh god, Balrog. Hi, puppy. How's it going, Janko? Ah, oh, Balrog. You're doing well, I see. How's your, my half-wit of a daughter faring? <laughs> half-wit? You mean misery? She's fine. Just fine. A new master has appeared. This time, the earth will be ours. And once again, you two plot to, I'm not here to give you any trouble. I just came to collect the key to the storehouse. The, the one where the flower seeds are kept. My, what on earth are you talking about? Ho oh, ho, playing the fool, are you? I see how it is. So you've chosen the Petraeus. You'll regret it. Balrog, you're so awesome, but why are you being so evil? New master. Not good for nothing. There are actually four others. Four more puppies of mine. And my hips are weak. Are so weak. For this old woman in trouble, you find her puppies for her? Yep! We're gonna go find puppies. So, in the next part, we're gonna go and hunt puppies. My god. What the hell is wrong with us? See you guys later.